it's uh, Jason at the Centre for Computing History and uh, really excited to have here today with us um, people that you'll recognise from your television um, or maybe somebody else's television, probably everybody's television, you're, I don't know. Um, uh, Maddie Moat and Greg Foote. Hey, Hello. hi. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for Pleasure. having us. So um, we probably should explain mm -hmm. why you're here. Yeah, so well, we have been here because we have just filmed a live episode of Let's Go Live, which is our family science show. Yeah, yeah. and um, we spent <laughs> most of lockdown, the first three months, doing 50 live family science shows from yeah. our spare room at yeah. home. Uh, and now over summer, we're out and about, and today's ep was, was here. So we were doing, yeah. uh, what is a computer? How do they work? Playing a bunch of your retro games. Uh, yeah. We love this place. It's amazing. It's a really Fantastic. good place. Fantastic. How did it all go? Did it go smoothly? Yeah, yeah. it went really... We didn't drop off air. We stayed live. Um, You've got great Wi-Fi. What you a do. surprise. <laughs> like we said, you know, we started out in our spare room where we had everything really controlled and we've decided to take ourselves out and about because the lockdown has lifted slightly, but that has a whole new set of tech questions yeah. that you've now had yeah, to we solve had a whole, and answer. we had a whole trolley today so that, so that we could yeah. move around the whole of the studio. And it's just, it's just me and Maddie. Yeah, but fun. we are operating... We are live... We have multiple activities, we've got games, and we're, we're operating four cameras, just the two of us. Yeah, so, and yeah. lots of overlays and videos yeah. and yeah. all sorts. Lots of yeah. tech stuff that you'll like. Yeah, no, no, yeah. yeah. Like that stuff. Picture, we put it on social media. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. Yeah. The invention is the mother of necessity, or no, it's the other way around. Necessity it's, is the mother of invention. That's the one. <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah. And it's just great because you're like, you, okay, we've got a need. Yeah. We need to do this, we need to do that. How are we gonna make this yeah. happen? Get the stuff together. It's brilliant. It's, it's hacked together, stuff. but it works. Yeah, yeah. What brilliant. people, what people watching this can't see is your amazing setup here with uh, two, two Blackmagic 4Ks, two other cameras. All it's amazing. Yeah, but really bad production values. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. It good, good equipment. Bad production value. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're trying. We're trying. So we are here because um, when people like yourselves come along, um, we like to have a little chat find out a little bit about your interest in computing, your history with it, gaming, whatever. Um, so we have two machines here um, that I know that you've mentioned while you've been here. Um, first one is the Commodore 64, yeah. which is your interest, Greg. This is such a blast from the past. <laughs> Gosh, so I, um, when I was a kid, I, I had a bunk bed and it just had the top bunk, nothing at the bottom. And at the bottom, um, we put a bean bag right. and, you know, big, CRT and the Commodore 64 there with the tape deck and just I haven't actually seen one for such a long time right. <laughs> I haven't played one for well yeah since I was gosh eight or something yeah because you always you always say oh I had a Commodore 64 but I get that you don't ever really think what that actually was you just know that you had one am I right in thinking that the tapes took like over half an hour or something to load up um, no, not quite, but you were littler then and far more impatient. <laughs> um, so but, but, I seem to remember starting them and then going and like having dinner yeah, and coming that, back yeah. and be like, oh, it failed. Yeah, probably, probably 10 minutes or something oh, like okay. that, you know, but, but yeah, to like two yeah, hours. Everybody knows it. People, people come here all the time and they used to take a day to a week to load, three years it took to load. Um, no, it wasn't quite that bad, but they did take quite a while. So yeah, sort of 10 minutes or so um, to get the thing uh, actually loaded. Um, if it would load at all, that is. Yeah. Now, Commodores were quite good, actually, because they had their proper cassette deck with it um, that we've got there, so it was all matched and, and worked. But a lot of people had just a normal cassette player, you know, like the audio tape players that, yeah. that you listen to music on, and they had a volume control, and you had to get the volume just right. So all the Spectrum users and the BBC users, they had to get that volume right. It wasn't right. Really? And, and would oh, it yeah. like make really crunchy sounds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on. So you would use a different cassette player to use with this? Yeah, well, you didn't. Well, with the Commodore 64, right. you did get a cassette player with it. Right. But with the BBC Micro, you I didn't. See. With the Spectrum, you didn't. For lots of them, you didn't, because they were trying to keep the cost low. Oh. And everybody had those little cassette players Walkmans. with the little handle. Not quite. Before Walkmans, they had a, um, a speaker at the back. Mm -hmm. um, we'll put a couple of Oh, I know, this. The, I, know the, I know the ones. Yeah, and yeah. Then the little piano keys yeah. at the front. Um, and you'd carry them around and listen to your music. But because everybody had those, you yeah. thought, right, I don't need those, because everybody's got them, so we can keep the price down. Um, the trouble with that is you just had to get that volume right. If they had a tone control, the tone had to be yeah. right. And it, it would start loading and then like, into 10 minutes into this whole thing, right. it would then go, yeah, actually, no. Well, um, so and this is luxurious. Again. Yeah, but it also, you know, you are a few years younger yeah. than, than me. I, I don't know how old you are, Jason. Uh, <laughs> I'm not older. Let's just <laughs> carry on. You're what, five years younger than me, right? Ish, yeah. So did you ever play any, anything that came on tape? Yeah, yes, uh, music on tape. Yeah, but, but you never played games, right? Never played a game on a tape. No, never. I've heard of Commodores, but I, I've never played one. Definitely not. Cool. I joystick? Did you use a joystick? 
I think the only time I used a joystick was I remember my uncle had a computer game. It was a flight simulator computer game that he had the joystick for. And I think I might have tried that, but um, no, this setup, this setup, no, never. Only ever played games on disc or on the computer. So there you go. Or it on doesn't the take disc. very long, does it? Does it? Age it's, it's is not a great deal of difference. Yeah, things have changed so much. But yeah. I do remember, but I did play games on floppy disks at yeah. school, though. Yeah. So that was probably around the same sort of same sort of era of tech, I suppose, if not earlier. Uh, well, it that could be. Been... I mean, BBC Micro was used in schools a lot. Mm. Um, so that came out in eighty one. Mm -hmm. They quite often had disk drives. Mm -hmm. They were incredibly expensive. Mm. Um, so you could have been playing games on those, maybe. If they had a it was on a floppy disk, it was just, you know, it was just like the adventure games where you'd have right. to sort of like go left, puzzles. left, left. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Text-based games. Brilliant. Something about, oh, I can't remember, Ruby Myth or something? Mystic Rose. Ru yes! <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. Mystic Rose or, I was like a Ruby, Rose. a red Ruby, but a Mystic Year Rose. Year six at university, like my amazing are... teacher, Mr. Davies, made yeah. us all do Mystic Rose where you had to solve various yeah. uh, puzzles. And there was a big maths puzzle at the end I remember doing. It's where I learned what the uh, exclamation mark was in maths. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just remember it being like, yeah, you are in the wizard's dungeon. Do you want to do this? And it was just like a yeah, little sort of like character that went around. Sorry. Yeah, hang on, I'm being out nerdy here. <laughs> Sorry. That, that's not allowed to happen, right? <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> right, so, uh, yeah, okay. All right, we'll have to have a look. See yeah. That yeah. Is, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, they, they, they were. And BBC Micros hung around a long time. They were expensive, so they used them for a long time. So you may have been using those, I don't know, or maybe early PCs. I think so. Not sure. But, um, but no, the, the, uh, the way things change from going from the, the big old joysticks mm -hmm. into the controllers, into, mm -hmm. you know, all the rest of it that was to come, it's just such a short space of time. But, uh, You're going to play? Do, I was going to say, do you want to go? Can I actually play it? Yeah, yeah. Well, we've got to wait so, half an hour, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hit the, uh, the power button on the monitor. Hopefully, we should be uh, ready to roll. It's already set up. Yeah, with any luck, it's really that, low. That noise, Ooh. that whir, when, yes. it, when it warms yeah. up. There you go. I mentioned Dizzy yesterday to you as the thing that I yeah. really remember. Yeah. Um, look at it, that little happy egg. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> Have you ever seen Dizzy? Again, I've heard of Dizzy. But Dizzy I've seen later versions of, actually. I oh, am yeah. familiar with Dizzy, definitely. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Oh, it did end up in my goodness. Does this feel like a flat? Oh my, which, what game is, is this just the first? This is the this first, first Dizzy. Dizzy. This yeah. is what I played. Do you suddenly feel like you <laughs> know exactly what, what you're doing? Is it like riding I a mean, bike? I, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> what did it, does he do? I cannot remember what on earth I do. Wait, hang on. How do you, Look, how, wee! Does he only move by flipping around or is that because you don't know how to use it? I or think... does he only move by tumbling? Uh, yeah. I think he only moves by tumbling. Do I need, yeah. to, do I need to run under? So he doesn't. Hello. Walk. So despite having feet, Dizzy the Egg doesn't walk. He only flips around. Well, you know, it's made of a shell. Oh, it's, and you let it go from one screen to the other. It has to refresh the whole screen. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, don't analyse it too much. Oh no, you know you are walking there. Oh yeah, I can walk. You can, you can walk. But you, the, the, I can't not flap my arms. What's obviously. the like petrol injection-looking vaccine That's pump not, thing? I don't know what's if I that? Pick it up? A mucky grease gun. Well, that's good news. Sure. Can I go in the houses? Oh no, I can't actually. You can't go between. There's no music now, is there? Listen to the sound. Don't get the back, don't get the back. Listen to the sound effects. <laughs> Someone probably made those sounds so somewhere. I, uh, oh, I just needed to. Oh, I just put the gun down. I mean, I don't remember what I have to do. Oh, can I go You're in a minecart. Mine? Can I go in the mine? I, I feel like that oh, might be a bit of an goodness. assumption that you can do this things is... like that. <laughs> oh, so how do I get back out? You I just jumped out, Lars. You I can jump through walls. I guess I need to go up here, but I don't want to get. I'm going to deliberately get hit by the bat just to see what happens to me. Do I break? I can't remember. Oh, I made it past him. I'll, I'll, I'll deliberately get killed by the next thing. What's that, do you think? That's a bag of treasure. So you can, you can treasure. pick that up. So I think you press the fire button to pick that up, wasn't it? Free roam bird seed. Oh, can you only hold one thing at once? Oh, don't want to give up your grease pump, though. <laughs> Here you go, I'll put that down there and I'll pick up my, my free roam bird seed. Let's see if I can entice this bird with the free roam. It's, it looks like a bat, to be fair, but let's try it. I'll put it down. I'll put it down. What are you trying to do? Well, it's bird seed, isn't it? Why are you giving it to the bat? Well, I don't know. I'm just seeing, like, can I jump on the bat? I, it, can you pick up the plant? What are you... No, I think I can only pick up these things. Get the apple. Are... I feel like that's tempting you, the way it's okay, going. let's try it. Oh, killed me. Kill me. Good advice there. It's a green apple. I just don't know. Hang that one, apple's it's good. It's like the Garden of Eden. Look at the apple. Is that an apple thing? Oh, foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Do you want to go? Apple comes along. Do you have a go? Why? 
What do I do? Oh, well, it's pretty self... Like, six-year-old me could work it out. OK, you'll so... Be, you'll be all over it. What does this button do? Oh, that, um, that picks up and puts down. So you've just put down, yeah, whatever that is. I've got no idea. Oh. What is that, actually? Is that... How do I find out what it is? Just click it again. It says it in... Oh, that's the mucky grease gun. Oh, you never know. What's it saying above? The mine... Oh, crikey. Oh, we are... We are. In that apple. Aren't we brilliant? Us and that apple. <laughs> We've got one egg life left. Oh, my goodness. I used to... Oh! Go, 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 go. Nice. Oh, oh crumbs, it's raining. Acid rain. <laughs> oh, didn't know it. <laughs> Educating kids about acid rain from 1980-something. That's right, we'll go again. That was the warm-up. <laughs> Can we go again? <laughs> go again, yeah, enjoy. Have we got to do anything today? <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Doing it. Just cancel it all. I want to see if... I'm, I'm sure I can remember going down into the mine, or maybe that was a different game. You know the other game I remember? Mm. I remember playing it at my cousin's. Hey Greg, how do you like move? <laughs> oh, so, so this is quite a tricky first move. You've got to go onto the cauldron. So diagonal, diagonal up right with the stick. Yeah. And then you've got to get an almost a bit of a run up and do diagonal up left. Yeah, so you've got to get... You've got to go right off that last pixel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to... Now go. Okay, so it so can't just, do that. No, it can't. It doesn't do... It's not like... It's not like the new Mario, well, not the new Mario. It's not like the Mario controllers a few years later. So you can't you go like up and over. Like okay. Moves. See, I'm not used to this. It's just taking that one signal. That's it. Yeah, but you've got to go oh, right, no. right really? to the edge of it. <laughs> yeah. So I, I remember a game uh -huh. with a. Um, it was a guy, and he was running through, um, like a castle or something with a little sword, and like right. he could jab a sword. Oh my word! And it was again kind of two D, level based. That might be um, part of the Magic Knight trilogy, uh, like Spellbound or something like that, maybe. I need Adrian for this. Adrian knows all games. Um, Prince of Persia. Oh, hang on. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, totally different. Um, Prince of Persia. What right. was that on? I don't know what the... Prince of Persia was on a lot of things, actually. Oh, okay. Um, but... Um, oh, I can't get over this. I, I don't think it, think it was on a 64. No, though. it was my cousin. I think it, it was, was um, on PC. I think it was on a PC. Yeah, yeah. I think it was one of the first things I actually played on a PC. Right. Yeah, it was on early PCs. Um, nice. and, and again, sort of just moved through time. You know, they kept redoing it. I can't get over the fact that you can't, like, <laughs> you can't jump right whilst you're in the air. I'm going to see if we can get in that's so That's such a weird thing, because that's all I've ever known. Yeah. To now have to only go diagonally from static is a really bizarre feeling. Does he, yeah. does he crouch? No. I don't think so. Oh! Oh, what happened there? Go down the mine shaft. I pressed, the, I pressed the action button. Oh, well, you're on a lift. Oh. See, I do remember oh, this. Oh, does that say dang? Yeah, for danger. Like, for danger. Oh, I thought it was like... I thought <laughs> oh, it was like, dang. I thought it was like American, like, <laughs> oh, dang. Uh, I've just picked up a graveyard. Okay, I'm getting chased by a spider. Dang. Is he... Oh. But wait, you're in the deserted diamond mine. mine. <laughs> <laughs> how on Looking earth? for... A, how on um, earth do I get past these? Get may out. I ask you, do you know... That they're bad. What? The bats. No. Do you want me just to well, sit? Probably just, not. Just, probably I mean, not. everything else. If that we're, we're going to even if, get through one level, if, I think if, probably if an, not. If an apple. Well, oh, the back kills it. it. <laughs> <laughs> that answers that. These um, these are legs are good for you. Oh, they are give they? you new lives. Protein. <laughs> <laughs> how, do I, how do I move? Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go with that. I know. Let me press. Get the chain. It might pull you up. Tap on that chain thing. Holding. Oh. There you go. Nope. Didn't do anything. What's the purpose of this game? Other than to, like, to get around the... I know, but what are we looking for a thing? Or are we like oh. trying to save something? Sorry, do you want a narrative and a backstory? <laughs> <laughs> Cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a full 3D render no, of no, your motivations. Serious, <laughs> but seriously, what, what's, like, what are we looking for? An, are we just collecting eggs? Um, are we like I have no idea. the egg equivalent of the Easter Bunny? Or is this... Or are we looking for a key? Uh, I've, I picked up a key. So are we trying? To... I don't What's know the what. Purpose I'm, of Dizzy Jason? Um, I I'm not sure. Can I fall down this? And now everybody's going to berate me for being involved in this place and not knowing, um, especially the Oliver twins. They're not going to like me anymore. Um, so, so what do you box, do with all the things? The well, so you, you just can only to... ever hold one thing at once. Why would you need a raincoat so, for the rain? Oh. The acid rain. How do we get back out again? Genius. Absolute what? genius at work. I can see it. It's happening on. in front of me. It's amazing. But then I'm going to need the key 
as well at some point. So how do I, I can I not hold more than one thing? You probably have to go back and get that yeah. later on or something. This could take off. Can you drop it wherever you want? Yeah, well, but you, well, the one thing you held you can drop wherever you want. Fine, so grab the key. Okay, no, I've don't gone, grab the I've key. I've gone for the raincoat. Get, so now we need to go up. It's, this. I don't know how I'm going to get back out, but that's true. Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, right, we're going we're gonna to achieve this. Oh, see, you've got the technique of just, you can, you can go diagonal from... There we are. Oh, oh. oh. Did, did you jump higher if you did um, diagonal? To be honest, I was just pressing all the buttons. Okay. I think you have to jump diagonally onto oh, it, Oh, look, from the danger sign, it gives you yeah. height. Oh, blimmin' So you can't do it? It's definitely temperamental. Oh, come on, Dizzy. Yeah, what's really annoying is that you can't go <laughs> up and then left. That's what I've been saying, yeah, yeah. In. Right, so I'm going to have to go into the next frame and then jump across. Too far. <laughs> oh, there's a bat's going to get me, isn't it? Oh, so it is sort of responsive to how long you yeah, hold it. Yeah, there you go, go mate. Oh, come on. Well done. You can't do that. No, 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 no. I, I didn't press Sorry. it very well. <laughs> you know what? They might be simple, Yay. but it's still fun to watch, isn't it? Like, regardless All right, lads, if... we're going we're gonna to get the raincoat and go in. Go for a walk in the rain. I'm excited about when you get to play your childhood game in a minute. Wow. <laughs> that might not happen now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get in that bat now. Or the, don't, um, we don't want any bird or that, seed. Or that killer apple. We'll save that for the... Oh, um, don't follow me! <laughs> but how do you put your raincoat on? Oh, no, be holding it. I'm just holding it. Does so, that mean you're safe? Go on. It's your idea. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at that. What's that? Look at me dancing in the rain. <laughs> What's that? Chill out, everyone. Got a plastic raincoat. So now, now you can leave it there in case you ever need to go back through it again. Mm. Um, Top button, yeah, boom, done it. Watch the spider. What can I do? What's that spiky thing? Wee. Um, some sort of crystal. Ooh, oh, crumbs. you're in. In fact, you're in the crystal. Diagonal, please. I love the fact that if there's a wall in front of him, he has to like jump against it until he's rolled up enough to fall <laughs> over the top of it. Thank you. What so are the dizzies were there? Dizzy collection. Fast food dizzy. Fantasy world dizzy. Oh, I think this is a run-up one. Treasure Island Dizzy. Magic Land Dizzy. I think I've played, I think I've definitely played a few more of them. I don't remember <laughs> Fast Food Dizzy. Greg, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know either. I don't know where to go. Can you get up there? The microphones will still pick this up. That's fine. You could, can you jump from that to that? Oh, maybe. I hadn't thought about that. All right. Sorry, Jason, we're just here doing this now. No, it's fine. It's, it's all good. I have, I oh looked, my gosh. I looked for an emulator to play. This is infuriating. No! <laughs> <laughs> Who says he rolls down hills? <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't find a, a, a good enough emulator. No? Right, um, this is incredible. I'm coming back. Oh, please do. You're when, more than welcome. Uh, when I've literally got a whole day. I mean, it's, it's interesting though. I mean, how long has it been since you played that? And oh, it's still getting both, both your Sorry. attentions from two different points of view. You know, yeah, you, look you look for that. the first time. Um, oh, see that? And Gregory living it. Jumped up into like a. Pick up the. Oh, um, uh, it looks like a. Oh. All right. Oh. That that's was in, dizzy. That was incredible. Good. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's, I do find it really intriguing, though, how you both respond to these things. Look, you, Terribly. Only for the first time. Well, yeah. No, but you, but yeah. you're engaged with it. Yeah. Greg's really living childhoods. Um, but. Childhoods? A childhood. I think um, I only had one, but you know. <laughs> you, should, um, you should get others. They really good. Um, <laughs> But, Collect uh, them. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, and it, but it's still, you know, keeping your attention mm. probably way longer than we've actually done it for. Mm. Yet this machine's out in, what, 82? Which in the grand um, scheme of things isn't that long ago. But well, I, was really born, I was born in 83. But it's just, it, you know, to think how far it's come in what's relatively a short, you know, quite a short amount of time is incredible. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I mean, yeah. Dizzy is a very good game. It is one of the games that, that we have out a lot. Yeah. Um, a couple of uh, guys called the Oliver Twins wrote it. Um, these are just two young lads writing games on their computers and all of a sudden become, you know, a, a company producing games and, and, and being big within the Those industry. were the years, weren't they? Um, the yeah, years. yeah. I mean, anything could happen and, and for those guys it did. So, um, but yeah, so that's, that's a really good game and uh, uh, glad, glad to give you the chance Thanks to Thanks so uh, much. Relive it. That was amazing. So <laughs> let, let's, let's move on then. Yeah. So, Maddie, your Yeah, my first, experience. I guess, foray into gaming was the PlayStation. Right. That was it. Um, 
I guess, yeah, for me, it was both the PlayStation and PC games. Right. So The Sims was a big mm. one. Mm -hmm. um, and the PlayStation, we had a, a selection of games. I know we had Goldeneye. I didn't really play that one so much. I know we had the first Call of Duty at some point, uh, but my game was always Crash Bandicoot. Right. Pretty much solely all I played was all <laughs> of the Crash Bandicoots. Um, until a little bit later on when I got into more like point and click adventure indie games. Right. So my favourite game of all time is um, Botanicular and Machinarium by right. a company called Amanita Designs. Right. But Crash Bandicoot, that's my, that's my, um, well, yeah, my jam. If we turn the monitor back on and select the other input, I can't remember which one. Um, so let it come back on and the Commodore will come up. Sorry, what are these buttons? So the one, I think, <laughs> the, one, I think the button nearest the power button. Right, so that's on, there we Whee. go. Right. So, All right, here we Crash go. Bandicoot on the PlayStation. You know how people always say, oh, cream eggs have got smaller or chocolate bars have got smaller? Yeah. I swear this, this controller has got smaller, but it's well, just because I've grown. <laughs> Which is, and on it, because this is pretty much what I grew up playing, and then I kind of stopped gaming. We had the, the Wii for a little while. Okay, I'm trying to remember what everything does. Ah, uh, there we go. Greg, do you want to hit the volume up a little tiny course, bit? Yeah. A couple of times. Oh, got to get those. Oh, um, that's down. Oh, oh, okay, that button there is up. Got it. Here we are. But yeah, so, oh, that was a hole. That was a hole. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but because I never played with joysticks, I find that, even, uh, even yeah. now, I find um, anything that requires, got the lighting. Anything that requires moving sort of like direction and also, oh, I probably Yeah, should. moving your character around and, and controlling the like, way they're looking. Oh, oh. Moving a gun or something, I yeah. find really difficult. I, I'm the same. I'm just gonna okay. My let's just, let's just get further. So I never. I also had a um, first edition PlayStation. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we used to play Tekken on it. Oh yeah. Remember the special move? All I remember is the one <laughs> special move that was like double, 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 double. Yeah. Du, 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 du. Right. That's all I used to always go for. <laughs> really annoying the other person you're playing against. Yeah, that, just by repeating move. the same move well, over and over. On it. Yeah. But I don't think I ever played this. I'd heard of it, but... There we go. Must have been Crash Bandicoot got me when it first came out. Did it? Yeah, I played that for a long time. We played all of them. I know that later on, oh. there's some really tri tricky tricky rounds. Is you that now, a hole up there? You now have a mask following me. Oh, what's no. that? What's that? You've got your face. Oh, I should get that. That's a life. Um, oh. I, by the way, I'm incapable of talking and <laughs> doing this at the same time, so <laughs> please talk around me. We found that on this morning's live show, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, can't do it. Checkpoint, yes please. You were doing, what were we playing this see morning? What doing. You Need were doing glasses. Mario, like the SNES first Mario. Right. And um, and yeah, I, we were trying to like talk and you All know. All the commentary went silent. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. like, oh, How okay. gamers do it, I don't know. <laughs> I find games where you have to move direction and also move guns around or like move around a track or something particularly tricky because I just have never practiced doing it. No. But mm. I love watching you play games like that. Yeah. Like I really enjoy, like, let's be honest, like we're not exactly <laughs> Fortnite players, but I really enjoy it when you do play Fortnite. I try it. Yeah. And I do like to sort of- And then all the teenagers just yeah. show me who's boss. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm terrible. Like my building speed is really slow compared to oh, what I, I don't see. The speed like, in really. which they yeah. do it, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. Absolutely. No, oh, my son takes oh. the mickey out of me because my character's always kind of just wandering around in circles, going up and down with a gun and everywhere because yeah. I forget which sticks which. And, yeah. oh. oh my goodness, this He's is just remarkable. utterly embarrassed by me. You have to. Don't... Oh, that's TNT. Yeah, yeah. Are oh, those bits of him? <laughs> <laughs> with them. Um... Okay, so these these ones. Oh, so these are the jumpy ones. That yeah, you jump some from. things. Some. Oh, there's one above it. Because because of the yeah. Careful when you go over the you things can't, you that can't see it. you can't tell when it's a dip, so you just get a bit closer Do to I the screen. Do I put this mask on or? Because our eyesight's failing us. <laughs> that's it, yeah, see? Oh, there's a hole. Yeah, that's yeah, all. You, you can't tell I, the difference because of it. It's just because of the way the light's hitting the screen. It was, um, I thought it was just a shadow. Yes, exactly. Because these are other shadows. Is that a shadow That's or a, a shadow. To, to that's a shadow. Fair, we set the, the monitor up for the Commodore 64, so it's probably a little bit dark for the PlayStation. Ah! Focus. Can I, can I just, just jump over it or spin it? Jump over it. Or spin it. I'll just spin it. That's a hole, right? That's definitely a hole. How that's far a block. You, jump? you okay? So I so I bounce on. If that you point. want to, I mean, I couldn't be bothered to get all the boxes, but just jump. Jump. There's a hole. Is he going to make? No, they're just going in the hole. Look. Yeah. Uh, see you later. There you go. <laughs> jump it. All right. All that. 
Don't get Whoa, eaten by the... that's a dinosaur. It's going to snap you when you get oh, closer. No, it's, um, it looks like the... It's Feed Me Seymour yeah, sort was, of plant. That's yeah. what I was thinking, yeah. Um, it's going to get close to you what and it's going to snap you, so just get ready to jump at it. Jump! All that. It just seems to be completely invincible if you Rolling spin. brick. That's fun. It's Classic. like Indiana Jones. Classic. Ooh. I What's that? I think oh. you have to maybe save her at some point. I don't know what she does, though. I can't remember. It's really weird having only these number of controls. Mm. And, mm. I, and I wasn't saying that about the joystick because that's such an unfamiliar... But maybe because... No, you expect that because that's gone on for a long time. Yes. You know, that yeah. is not far from the... Because you're, you're used to the... Yeah. What do we call them? Uh, joystick. Joystick things. Joystick things. Um, <laughs> analog controls, I don't know. Joystick um, thingies. I'll what's, say what's that. Your, what's your favourite console? Yeah. Cons uh, probably the, the PlayStation, to be honest. The original the PlayStation. Original, this one? Uh, yeah. Um, it's... It's the first console I actually went out and bought, personally. Mm. But I went out and bought it for other reasons. Um, Why is that? To take it apart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. We'll leave it at that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was interested in well, the, the tech video. It and, and yeah. the way it worked. I'd read some things on, online. It was hardly online at that time. But, um, oh, I'm here again. About things you could do with it. Um, so I specifically went out at Christmas, bought myself one, and had it apart for the next six months. With an oscilloscope and, and things. Wow. Find out how it works. Are you talking about the laser inside? Um, the, 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 the main circuit board inside. Right, okay. Um, yeah. So, um, oh my so that, that's, but for me, so, but I'm not a gamer. I'm an electronics and computery nerd. So uh, I love games and I love seeing people play games. And I love looking at how those games have developed because of the hardware, because the hardware enables new types of gameplay. Yeah. It's more powerful. Um, but also, well, I love we how about that. gameplay is controlled by the hardware. So the gameplay in Dizzy is somewhat controlled by what you can do. And I like things when they're designed and constricted by something. Like what's what's the memory for Dizzy? Um, I don't know how much memory Dizzy takes, but the memory the computer has is 64 kilobytes. Wow. Yeah, exactly. 64 kilobytes. Yeah. What? You can't even export what? like a basic small icon i'm sure that's, you could, but you know yeah, like, i mean there's, there's so certainly funny. you take a picture on your camera and you're in megabytes aren't you it's it's so yeah. it's it's very very small and I, and i love the fact that these people have managed to make games with so little and that's something that always inspires me um and actually it's something that is is really important now because when we when we get schools in and we get kids we're talking to kids and we say this game and it all fitted into 64k oh, memory and they go oh but you don't have to anymore you've got lots of memory and we can do what mm, we want mm. and that is true but actually, if you write code that's, that uses it all for no particularly good reason, then it's inefficient. And it uses, if it's on your phone, it uses more battery life. Yeah. If you've got, I don't know if you've ever had an app and you've noticed that it flattens Drains, the battery. Yeah. So you get rid of that app. It's yeah. yeah. You know, well then, so you do need to consider thinking about writing code that is compact and efficient and elegant. Um, and we use this kind of technology to show that, that it can be done. And actually there are advantages mm -hmm. now. And let's think about you know, green computing. If, if, a, if an application um, uses a certain amount of power and you can code it slightly more efficiently to use less power, if that's running on servers that are running around the world and they're on thousands, then you can make big differences by making little changes to code. Very mm. true. So all of these things, the, the, we use the old computers and the BBC Micros, all that sort of stuff, um, to show how coding does still need to be efficient and good. You can't just throw everything at it. That's not a good way to look at things. It also just shows creativity as well. Oh, yeah. Like, like, yeah. like, who would have thought of, you know, an egg going on some adventures? <laughs> um, the Oliver Twins. Well, I know. Well, you know, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Um, yeah, absolutely. Or a, or a, bandic oh, a bandicoot. What's a, what's a bandicoot? A type of animal. Yeah, but I'm just wondering. It's like a fox. A weasel? Um, sort of, yeah. I know. Bandicoot is a bandicoot. Um, yeah, it, it, it's and, and all of this. I mean, it's so creative. Um, using the limitations of machine, using features of, of machines, regardless of whether it was then or now, um, creating games with good stories is really important. So mm. all of a sudden, we're a place where it's not just about coding and tech and things like that. It's about if you're doing games, what's a good story? Mm. Big got, characters. Yeah. yeah we, we, we did basic pixel art on this show this morning as, right. one, as one of the handful of activities for families to do. Oh, yeah. come off it. And do you want to play? <laughs> Sorry. It's getting really I can't, I can't, Control yourself, babe. Like, I can't, you can't see between the shadows and the... I just sound like I'm making excuses, so I'm going to stop. Sorry. Can carry on. Carry on, everyone. No. I don't. Did they not give you anything? No, I don't think the show was used like on this It was like jump one. and circle or like... 
Something like that. To do what? Jump and slide. Jump and slide. Jump and slide. As in like skid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't it just do that, that in certain situations? So when you jumped forward, it would slide if you was on a different type of ground? Uh, maybe. That's a hole. That was close. That's also a hole. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> don't really often play games, do we? I never play games. So it's, it's, it's this is not good content for you right now, I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what did I get really, She's really just competitive? She's so focused, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll only make her angry, don't do that. Such a stare. The intensity. That's a big problem here for marketing photographs. We go around with the camera, take pictures of people using it, and nobody's smiling. <laughs> Nobody. They're all concentrating or all really yeah, angry at the screen. Makes sense. <laughs> what is it? What is. No idea. It's cruel. I know. <laughs> I, heard yeah. I heard an elephant. Oh, you know what? We're not going to bother. <laughs> You're good at this. You're speedy. Well, that's because so I'm not back doing anything else. Come they on. obviously didn't want to code any, like, root options, did they? <laughs> no. You just go forwards at the moment. Well, actually, later. there is a, there is a, a round late. Loading bonus round. You that's to what they that. do. Wow. Oh, hello. Do you want to go? You go for it. Oh, you just break everything in. Hi. Ah. Hello. 2% complete. Oof, crumbs. I haven't got enough tape in the cameras for this. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right. right. <laughs> okay, I'm done. That was, I went on for ages there. I'm really sorry. That is you brilliant. can cut all of that. That joking, is... That would call forever. Um, <laughs> got you in the end. But, oh, I'm glad you've, glad you've uh, enjoyed it. But um, anyway, well, there you go. Thanks Thank so much. That's a bit of your, your history for you. Yeah. You also mentioned the Game Boys. You can get those out now. Yeah, we did. Both, an, we've got a Game Boy at home. I had a colour Game Boy. Did you have a, an original? I had an original. Did you? Yeah, yeah. and then um, got one of those magnifying things oh, on it yeah. that had a light. Oh, so yeah. So I could play like at night yeah. in bed. It was like a Fresnel lens, wasn't it? Yeah, that was yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. So I had, what else did I have? I definitely had a DS light as well. Um, which was obviously much later, mm. which was really fun. I liked that. That had sort of like a little pen that you yeah. could use with it as well. I always wanted one of them. Mm, it was quite cool. That was that was kind of around the time when everybody started doing brain games. Oh, you know, when yeah. like training your mind became trendy. Yeah. It was around that sort of time. <laughs> um, but on the on the on the Game Boy, I only really played a game called Nuts, which was with, where you moved a squirrel around. No one can remember it. Just me. Probably some really <laughs> random game. Legend of Zelda. No. Because I know that you like the text-based, like... I, I know. Text story-based. Yeah, no, not at all. I never got into Legend, Legend of Zelda. No. Um, no what just... else? Had the, yeah, I mentioned the eye, the eye that, had, that went on top of the television yeah. screen. Is yeah. that what was it called? The eye? What was it called? Uh, uh, the, it was iToy Play, wasn't it? Something um, like that. iToy was the thing that went on top. I remember, uh, it, was bright, it was red or blue or... I think we had the one which went with the Wii, I think. Anyway, it just went. It just a little like camera that went on top of the TV screen, and then you sort of got to interact with the TV using the Wii. Yeah. And there was just one called Washing Windows, and that's all I really remember. Well, you just had the song when I'm screening exactly windows. That. Yeah, that was all on the PlayStation. Did. That was on the iPhone. Was it? Yeah, there we go. That was it, and you just had um, to do this. Yeah. And wash windows. And it would, the screen would become clearer. That it? was it. God, that was so like the, so that simple. Was the precursor to the um, what was after the Wii. Uh, with the amazing, the Connects, was it? With uh, the amazing sensors. Con Connects was, was Xbox. Yes. Um, but the yeah, all, all sort of much. The Wii was the big one for moving around yeah. and, and getting fit while you're gaming. That's you it. say getting fit, but you play tennis and then you just, you're aching the next day. Because what? Yeah. Who's, you, who's used to overextending and not actually hitting yeah. something? No, and anybody that windows. was cool didn't move at all. You just went like that with the controller. They just, yeah. It, it, oh, come on. It's not the point. Yeah, no. <laughs> you've, got, you've got to knock over a really strong wrist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so uh, there, was, there was a few of them. But, uh, but Washy Windows, I definitely remember. That was great. You know, and, and, uh, when I'm cleaning it the was windows. Fun. Yeah. Was it? I don't remember that at all. Yeah, you got into it. You, you, you got to work I just, out. I just want a whole day here just playing loads of things you remember. Well, we, we, you have to come to one of the evenings. <laughs> so we, we have retro gaming evenings. We get a bar in. And great. The, we put lots of other stuff out, so a lot of the machines that are out during the day yeah. are the standard machines that everybody recognises. Um, but of, a, of an evening, we bring out some of the other stuff that's nice. a little bit more obscure. We could, we could um, come along, have a drink, and not talk to each other, and just play games. Because <laughs> <No, no, laughs> let's be honest. No, it doesn't work like that. 
doesn't it? It's, it's really, really social. People love it. They, they love talking to each other about yeah. their experiences of games. I bet. Some people come along and they don't even pick up the controller. You know, it's yeah. just all the chat. Yeah. They just want to be surrounded by it, talk to other people that, that are interested. It's the nostalgia, I suppose, um, yeah. isn't it? Also, yeah. there are some of those games that I would have never had the chance myself to play two player. Mm. You know, like my mate would come over, we'd play Tekken. Yeah. Or like um, Tony Hawk. The skateboarding. Tony Hawk's the, the skateboarding one. Yeah, or I think, did, did Tony Hawk also do a snowboarding one? Probably. Mm, anyway. I remember. Oh, is that right? Am I, am I mixing there those ideas? There games, but I don't know if it was, I don't think it was Tony Hawk. <laughs> this video is just us being There's, like, is that the thing? Is that right? <laughs> is this it? No, I need to read it because there's going to be a thousand comments. Yeah, I'm going to need to read all the comments <laughs> to get the yeah. answers to all these things. Yeah, don't judge our playing either. The screen's not set comments. right, okay? <laughs> so, that's all. But, uh, no, people love it. They absolutely love it. Uh, it, it is sort of it's all built into our collective memories of, of growing up with consoles and just mm. been remembering what those games were. Mm. Sometimes you ever go on a game and it's not what you remember it to be. Um, mm. So you know, it's like, oh, well, it's not quite as good as I remember. Yeah. But uh, but other times it's just brilliant and nostalgic. And for playing against yourself, I had so yeah, being somewhat older, um, 1977. Uh, they brought out the tennis consoles, you know, the, the black and white Pong. Mm -hmm. We call them Pong now, which is a bit of an Americanization. But they were tennis consoles. Um, and I would get up early in the morning before the rest of the family, for reasons I don't know, um, but just go down, plug that into the telly and, and just use the squash mode, which is basically one bat, a wall and you <laughs> for ages. And you just think, Practicing. really? Did you really do that? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it was modern and it was yeah. cutting edge. I can totally time. see why you'd do that. Really? Yeah, <laughs> for a sure. teenager up early. What is this? <laughs> yeah, maybe not the early thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not sure why I did, but I did. And um, yeah. Yeah, just go practice down. that is. Maybe that's what it was. Getting mm. a bit of sneaky squash practice before well, they yeah. just play tennis. But then, well, yeah, but that doesn't translate into real life because sports and me. No, digital oh, sports. Sort of digital sports. <laughs> or taking apart digital sports, perhaps more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. Well, I'm interested in what was inside. Yeah. But um, but anyway. Well, we'll come over to a uh, to one of the evenings. I'm well up for that sometime. Yeah. I'd love that. Good fun. Yeah. Good yeah, fun. yeah. Definitely, it's good fun. You would enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks so, so much. Thank you very much for coming along. Um, glad everything well, went well this morning. Thanks for having us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, amazing. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a watch back in a little bit. Yeah. And uh, Oh, one last thing, Maddie. Yeah. It's your birthday tomorrow. It is my birthday tomorrow. What if it's not... What? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Do you want me to open it now? If, if you want, yeah. Do you want me to, honestly? Yeah, it's not that embarrassing, maybe. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, you know. This is amazing. What? I'm like, what is really? It? You did not have to do this at all. Oh okay, my goodness. Well, all right. But, what yeah. on earth do you think it's going to be? I've got no idea what do you it know, is. You, do, you don't I've know? I've got no idea. No, this is completely surprising. So, thank you so much. I've Sorry, this is going to be really, really loud. I'm a little bit worried there's too much excitement going on. It's just, just don't, don't get excited. Keep the wrapping paper. Oh, we've got a little computing history oh. set. And one thing you do very well here is mugs. <laughs> We've had a couple of cups of tea each, and those mugs are brilliant. I've got a heat changing Pac Man mug, Pac -Man. Yeah. notepad. So and some you've got your game consoles. So that's Top Trumps for uh, game console. Well, it's not Top Trumps. It's not Top Trumps at all. Um, it's a Trump style game. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I might need to edit that. Um, <laughs> and um, that, that you play with game consoles. Very oh. nerdy, um, but. Honestly, oh that's really kind of you. No, Thank you worry. so um, much. It's, it's all stolen from our shop, so it's, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Magnavox Odyssey. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 1972. One. First ever console. World's home home first console. Home video game console. Yeah. Yeah, learnt something as well. Wow. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Quickly followed by Atari Pong and the Binatone. What's that? Yeah. 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 Facts. <laughs> know some stuff. <laughs> Forget it tomorrow. There we go. Um, thank you. Okay. No, a pleasure. A pleasure. Yay. But uh, thanks very much for coming. Um, really appreciate it. And yeah. um, hopefully we'll see you again sometime soon. Yeah, for sure. Cheers, Cheers. Jason. Thank, thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. <laughs>